Good morning, YouTube. This is my June, squeeze it out, June garden tour. Yeah, I was trying to make it look nice for this month garden tour, but here in Texas, it's been extremely hot. So, y'all got to see it like this. I'm sorry this is not the grand entry that I wanted to show you all, but hey, here we go. This area, the top shelf are all of the you can't even really see it can you the top shelves are all the tomato plants they had they was dying originally but they didn't bounce back and they look quite good especially that one that one's so tall the bottom shelves we have those right here are the okras they doing good i harvest off of these a couple of times Look like I need to harvest again. Whew. They doing really good at the okra. Um, and the rest of those are tomatoes. So the tomatoes did come back quite well. I think that's a butter, butternut squash, but I think it got a squash vine bug, you know. I'm gonna have to see. That's a tomato. It was scrubbing, so that's why I took it down so I can give it more attention. The greenhouse with my daughter standing in front of. Uh, it's practically empty except for those few little plants that I wanted to start. These are... I just put these tomatoes in here just to try to get them some more room. Potatoes all along the back row. I think I need to harvest them. I don't know, because they, they they looking ugly. But anyway, I'm trying to make this video fast, y'all. I'm doing too much. This, some more corn I planted. They said you can plant them two weeks apart, so that's why they different sizes. But I am going to move them, because I do believe that they are two different kinds. I just don't know who is who. But anyway, tomatoes. The buckets, the loaves, and the Home Depot buckets, those are potatoes. I just planted them last night. These are scruggling beans. They still trying to hold on, but they still scruggling. This the corn that the wind knocked down. It's looking a hot mess. I have realized that I planted them too far apart. My hubby was telling me that I need to have them closer. Hard head, make a soft behind. Okay. But it was growing good until the wind said, whoosh, and knocked them all over. And now I don't know if it's going to make it or not, but hey, they grew good. And I uh, then put beans in between the rows now. This is my mess up. I know on a lot of my videos, I said that this row was beans. It was two rows, and I was like, oh, them beans, they growing so good. Y'all, these ain't no beans. Look at that. These freaking cucumbers. I don't know what I'm going to do. They growing everywhere. Look, they go two up there. Can you see them? Touch the two at the top, Christy. Oh, I wasn't even talking about them. I'm talking about the big ones. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. So, now, if y'all have any clue on how I'm going to fix this, I done tried to stake them up. It ain't working. <laughs> I think I'm just going to end up letting them just grow like this. But I really don't know. I'm a beginner gardener, first year. So, I, I don't know what to tell you. Next to here, this the bed that had the, um, the, um, thingy things in it. The grubs. So, I put some of the grub killing stuff down in here. And then I waited a minute. And I planted corn. The corn still haven't came up. I don't know if it's going to come up. 
But I planted a lot of corn. I think I did like a whole big bag of corn in this one spot. So they gonna grow in close. Okay, here go another section of corn. You see how close I planted that corn? I wish the wind would. This a barrel of hay. I'ma do the um sweet potatoes in the hay. I'm going to see how they grow. I'm doing two potatoes all the way so I can see which way I like best. I'm going to go get two more barrels of hay because I want to try potato and um, the hay as well. This is my pepper bed. I got bell peppers, um, hot peppers, all type of peppers. And these are the little cords I bought. They're supposed to water. If you could see, I don't know if you can see or not, but half the cores ain't getting no water running in. So I said I was going to have to do it a different way so the water can flow through all of it. I don't know what way that is, but I know it's too hot in, right now to fool with it. Okay, so we back to the corn bed. I separated with a stick because I was scared that the wind was going to blow it over still. My shadow is um, making this hard. But I put um, some bell peppers here too. I don't know if they're going to grow. If they grow, they grow. But I'm also going to stick some sweet potato snips in this. Probably right there where that grass is. I'm going to put the slips. This is my prized possession at this moment. I am so loving the watermelon wall. I call this watermelon row. I am ecstatic. You see that? That's a watermelon. I'm gonna tie them up after probably, probably next week. This was my first watermelon, but I think something that happened to it right here i think something happened to it you can set it on the arm uh, because it, it's not hard anymore it's just not growing i don't know but i'm gonna leave it on her. i'm gonna try to sit up in a second and i have more it's so many y'all see that one um that one was stuck behind her i didn't even know it was back here it was stuck so when i came out watering this morning i saw it it's so many and i'm so happy about it bye i don't even think this a wild a minute i think this gotta be a, a cantaloupe or something but yes i am happy about the growth of those i did something right this the pepper bed again. And you see all that stuff in there? That's the squash bed. I have been... Let me walk closer to it. Now, don't think I just got stuff thrown in here. It's in here for a reason. I'm trying to keep the squash vine things from laying their eggs on my leaves. But... It's, it's working, but then it's not working because the the squash is growing so fast that it's touching the top of the um the twine, the twill. And I need to go on and get this part ready because this is going to drape over here and it's just going to enclose the whole thing. But it be too hot, y'all. I'll be getting up out of here. Like right now, I'm, I'm running up out of here. I think that's really all back here that I need to show you. Oh, I planted my sweet potato snips. Let me show y'all that. Y'all I don't know if they're going to make it. Now, I did the exact same way I did with the ones. These freshly planted. I just planted these yesterday. But when I got them, they had to be mailed to me. They was looking dead. So, I don't know if they gonna make it. 
I'm gonna see what they gonna do though. Cause my other one's bounced back good. I'ma go in the front and give y'all the video of it. Okay. Now we have the look front gone thing. These are all beans. I don't know why they yellowing. All of them are yellowing. Some of them is. It get enough sun. This morning, about 6 o'clock, sun was all over here. But they still yellow. I don't know if they supposed to be yellow. I don't know. But hey, they growing. And the squirrels around it, it's supposed to be spinach and greens. Some bug. No, I don't think this was the bug. I think this was the heat. The heat tore these up. So that ain't no good in But you see the ones down there that's covered? They still good. It's a lot of dead stuff, but it's a lot of living stuff too. So I'm fine with it. My first time, I'm fine with it. I love it. It is what it is. All these things are, are flowers. That's why I'm really not. They just flowers. And these are my bush plants. Um, they were at the windows, remember? Then I saw something was eating them. So I moved them over here. And they've been growing, but you can see where they was been eating it. Scrawberries, all three of those are scrawberries. This a blueberry. I got one lonely blueberry. Um, this the orange tree. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really see because the sun's so bright. This a fig. The fig had, oh y'all, the fig was so dead. <laughs> all these are new leaves. Because I killed that kid bad. The raspberries. I think this a Maya lemon. It's going through some things too. But that blueberry plant right there, dead dead. I'm going to take that out and put my other something in there. And this is the tree section. The tree and sweet potato section. Those in the cups are sweet potato slips. I put them in there because I didn't have any room for them to go anywhere else and now since i see they surviving i'm making another bed in the back for all my sweet potato plants these are sweet potatoes as well something was eating them as well but they they growing so i'm happy with that i got a dead one in there i know but the rest of them look good these are some new plants i bought they i bought them dead like that i gotta think they be on sale y'all know i'm cheap so I buy them dead and try to bring them back. All I got to do is cut all them dead leaves off. These are my trees. They still not um producing fruit yet. Where the lime is. I guess my daughter telling me she ready to go. She getting in the car. I'll be so happy when they get their driver's license. But anyway, the trees still doing good. And this is another bucket of uh, sweet potato slips. Hi, everybody. Thank you for watching June's monthly garden tour. I told y'all I have big changes for my garden. Come, and they they in process. It's taking me a little longer than I thought because of the heat. But I, I have plans on being done with it this year, so... Next year, I could take what I learned and I could be great in the garden. Because this year, I got a lot of mishaps. But I'm learning from the mishaps. But that's not why I'm jumping on. I'm on here because I want to give a big thank you to Faith Family Homestead, Dom, for choosing me to win a Forever Garden Bed. She did a collaboration with Forever Garden Beds, Keith. Uh, to give away a free garden bed. And I won it. And I was so happy and ecstatic. I never won anything before. So this was my first time and I love it. I also want to say how much I love her channel. Her channel and her best friend channel, Our Freedom Song, are my 
two top gone channels. I literally watch every, every video, video they upload because they have nothing but good ideas. So I want to thank those three people, Dom, Quinesha, and Keith. Y'all are the best. Y'all rock. Peace. Okay, here's the gone bed. It is a two by eight gone bed. I have not put it together yet, but I will do a video of me putting it together and planting something in it. I don't know exactly what I'm going to plant in it because I'm really through planting for this. Um, because I'm really through planting for the spring, but I do have some plants that could go in here. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.